I watched The Accountant last night. Oh hell yeah! Is it yeah. good? Uh, it's no, not really. Someone it's about a, it's about right. an autistic it's, hitman. It's, exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what it is. It's all right. There is a whole. There's a whole like a fucking just uh, a whole section of the plot. I didn't really. Maybe I didn't follow it enough, but I didn't understand why they're investigating him the whole time. Uh-huh. Uh, and the investigation is never resolved. Uh-huh. Uh, there's no real development with the characters investigating him. Mm-hmm. They don't he's, explain what's going on with that or why they're, you know, they're they're investigating him, and then it turns out the lead investigator knows who he is, but that's not a conflict for whatever reason. And then he's like <laughs> blackmailing the, one of the other agents, and they don't really explain why he's blackmailing the other. A- you know what's so funny is it's a movie where it's like, hey, autistic people, you know, not only they're, they're not bad people, they can, you know, sometimes be good in the sense that they could be murderers. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but. I feel like they designed a movie that if an autistic person watched it, they would be like, what is going on? I don't understand. Like, it doesn't make any fucking sense. Well, there was that part in the middle of the movie where he opens up a clock and just watches the gears turn for a half hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they'd probably like that part. Yeah, well, the opening (laughs) shot of the movie is him dumping out a puzzle. (laughs) Which is... Which is about as autistic as he gets. I mean, because having you know, autistic protagonists was like big in the right. last two years. I mean, I, I don't think Ben Affleck's a bad actor, but it's like I, I, unless you, I do sometimes, I, I, sometimes. But you know, I don't, I don't think it was a particularly good performance comparatively. He, uh, I don't know who's there. I don't know who's ringing the doorbell. Someone's phone is ringing. Yeah, my phone is ringing, but it's not someone who's downstairs. Mm. Okay. Um, anyway, okay. My point is. <laughs> Is that, uh, yeah, I don't think he does a particularly good job of uh, pretending to be an autistic person. Talk for a did second. Did you see Nightcrawler with Jake Gyllenhaal? I did not. That's another movie where it's an autistic protagonist. Which oh, is he's like, autistic in that? No, well, he's just weird, dude. I he's, he's not weird. supposed to be autistic. I think, he's, I think he's pretty much autistic in that movie. But, like, that's another <laughs> one where it's like, oh, they can do anything. Like, be bad guys. Like, create like create crime so you yeah, can get what it would first be, on What would be a good role camera. for a, a, per, a positive... Role for the autistic, uh, like remembering a lot of numbers. Rain Man, Rain Man. Yeah, well, Rain in the account, the in the accountant, he is an accountant or whatever. But then it's also stupid because it's like he's the accountant for all these like mobsters, these international criminals, and all these international criminals are like, this is the best guy in the world. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. nobody's nobody's a better actuary than him, <laughs> and it's like. I'm sure that's not true. Like that's, <laughs> right, it's not right. a complicated. I mean, it is complicated. You it's get hard a math to do it. It's hard math, but like plenty of people can do. That just takes requires a smart person. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, you don't need an autistic guy to handle all that. Yeah, there's definitely there's definitely in the world there's definitely at least yeah. ten more accounts. Well, my problem with it is he's supposed to be autistic, and really he's just kind of quiet and a dick. You know, because he's doing things like smirking. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. like that's. He Gym face, yeah, and he, <laughs> yeah. he talks quietly. He isn't like, uh, actually, that's wrong. <laughs> he doesn't do that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, actually, stuff. you're incorrect. And also, this girl's just desperately trying to fuck him the entire movie. She's probably got that good, good dude, that good fucking honking autistic dick. Does he ride a train at all? You think the there's movie? autistic people who are autistic for pussy? <laughs> Who just yeah fuck. me? <laughs> no, you're autistic. No, you're for jokes. autistic for tools and jokes, bits and tools. Um, it like he's be, the best guy been on the, the world. Name of the podcast. What's that? Autistic bits for jokes. Bits and tools. <laughs> bits, bits and, and tools. tools. But do you think there is a guy who just fucks so good because that's his autism? I don't know. Have you heard the term sex nerd before? Yeah, I think we've talked about we've it. We've talked about it. It's that shit's fucking stupid. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my entire life. I'm I'm just a I'm just a sex having animal. I'm not a nerd, baby. I'm a sex jock. That's me. Yeah, dude. dude I'm <laughs> I'm a sex jock. <laughs> I'm a sex prep. My Letterman dude. jacket. I like have a popped collar when I eat yeah, pussy. Yeah, yeah, you're a sex prep. I'm a sex jock. <laughs> it's I the breakfast wear club Ralph of for sex. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got my I lettered in eating pussy in high school. Yeah, so. I'm a sex freak actually. Oh, you're a sex freak. Yeah, I'm like the Judd. Uh, what's his name? Judd Nelson. Judd Hirsch. Yeah, I'm like Judd Hurst. <laughs> Nick's making a phone call. The first phone call we've made since uh, the David Cross episode, actually. Who we got? Is David Cross coming back no, on? I have a voicemail. Oh. <laughs> Just checking He's it now. Checking his voice. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm a sex. Who's the other one? 
Uh, the, the hot redhead the quiet Molly girl. Ringwald uh, I'm a sex bitch <laughs> I'm a sex bitch <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sex for an exchange student <laughs> Dude I would love to I, I, I fucking would love to smash Molly Ringwald dude Back in the day Maybe even now She's looking pretty good these days She still looks good She's still keeping it tight She was on an MTV something award On some kind of nostalgia thing Giving out like best teen movie like a couple years ago